You might have seen an older tutorial called the Light Burst Transition. Today I'm going to show you a quicker, updated version, also called a Flash Transition. So stay tuned. I'm just a normal person with no video editing background who wanted to start making YouTube videos and maybe cool transitions and effects. I don't really plan on being a professional video editor, so I was looking for a free, easy to learn video editing software. Luckily, I stumbled on Shotcut, a free open source video editing program that can do many of the tricks you can do on more enterprise video editors like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, but with a much simpler and leaner interface, thus dramatically shortening the learning curve. It just takes using your imagination. So let's learn together. Before we get started, this tutorial will be done on Shotcut version 23.12.15. If you don't have at least this version, please upgrade your Shotcut. Okay, so this one's going to be really quick. Um, I'm going to start out with two videos that I've already loaded on my playlist. The first one is this ballerina video, as you can see here. And the second one is this dancer video. And if you notice, there's some light sources from behind, which lends a little better for this flash transition. So I'm going to drag the ballerina video on the timeline and then I'm gonna drag the dancer video a little bit behind it. So first I'm gonna play the ballerina video and find a, a perfect spot where the flash transition should occur, which actually at the very end of it should be sufficient, right there. And then I'm gonna play the dancer video and I think that's fine too. I think right at the beginning should be a really good transition point. So I'm going to drag them close to each other and I'm going to make it a little bigger so it's easier for you to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and select the first video and I'm going to go to the very end and using the left arrow I'm going to count back to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see where it is. As you can see right there. Um, and sometimes it's a little hard for you to find where that twelve spot is or the twelve frame spot is. So what you can do is you can go and select this icon right here, which is a marker. So you can actually add a marker as you can see here. So even if I remove the cursor away from it, I, I can find the spot because it's indicated by that marker right there, which is that orange marker. Now that we have that orange marker, what I can do is I can go to the second video and drag it over until it overlaps all the way to that cursor point or that point where that marker begins. And once again, it's going to create a transition. And this box here that has an X in the middle, that's a transition between the first video and the second video. And what you're going to see right now as I play it, you're going to see it gradually switch over to the second one. So the first one slowly fades out while the second one slowly fades in which traditionally that's a really good transition, but actually for this particular technique, I don't want that to happen. So while I have that transition selected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select properties. Once I'm in the properties tab, I wanna select cut. And then after that, I'm gonna go over to the position and I'm gonna to need to move the 20% to 50%. What I'm telling Shotcut basically is I want a hard cut between the first video and the second video. So now if I play it, it just hard cuts to the second one and the hard cut happens right exactly in the midpoint of this transition box. And so it's doing exactly what I want it to do. So 
So there you go. So that's the first part. So now that I have that hard cut, once again, I want to make sure that the transition is selected and I'm going to go into filters. And in this particular technique, you're only going to need one filter. And that filter is going to be the color grading filter. And so I'm going to look for color grading. There it is. And then we're also going to be implementing the keyframes functionality of this particular filter. So I'm going to position the cursor at the very beginning of this transition. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the keyframe icon for both the shadow section and the highlight section of this particular filter. So first I'm going to go into the shadow section and all of a sudden a new box shows up which is the color grading box. So I'm going to go ahead and expand that. So that's selected and I'm also going to select the gains keyframe right there. And so now it actually created two keyframes on the same spot. Now I'm going to use the right arrow and I'm going to move forward to the very last frame before it cuts over to the next video, which is this one here. And so while that cursor is there, I'm going to go back into the shadow section of the color grade filter and I'm going to drag it all the way to the very top so that all R, G, and B are at 100%. I'm also going to drag the highlights all the way. I'm probably going to go to, let's say, 71.5%. That should be good enough. So what you're going to see on your screen is all white. And then I'm going to go to the very end of this transition. And now I'm going to select the reset to default, which brings it down to zero for the highlights. The same thing, reset to default for the shadows, which again brings it back to zero. So what's going to happen here I'm going to go to the beginning of the keyframe. It's going to raise both the shadows and the highlights to nearly 100% up to the midpoint of that transition. And then it's going to drop back down. And so when we play it on the timeline, this is how it looks like in real time. And that's it. That's the flash transition. And this is the easier version of the flash transition. So now that you got this finished, what you can do so that you don't have to keep on remembering what the settings are for this particular transition, again, thanks to the new updates to Shotcut, you now can utilize this as a filter set. So while the settings are already in place, what I can do is I can click this icon right here and call it filter set. And then I can name it. I'll name it flash transition. And then I'm also going to give myself a key so that I know how many frames this thing takes up. So I'm going to say 12 frames. And I'm going to click OK. And what happens there is I've now saved this particular technique as a preset. So if I go and remove this filter here, and just to prove to you, I'm going to go ahead and play it. And you're going to see again, it's a hard cut. While this is selected, I can now go and add a filter. And instead of adding a filter, I can go into filter sets 
and I could look for flash transition 12 frames. Once I do that, I can go ahead and play. And once again, it implemented the flash transition. So that's how you can save all the previous uh, filters and techniques that you've, you've previously implemented. Now, once again, because I've saved this, I'm going to give this away to anyone who is a member of my channel. And once again, all you have to do is um, go below this video, you're gonna see a membership icon. And if you're a member of this channel, it is, it is a paid membership, but it's just 99 cents. And so if you're a member of this channel, you will have access to every single one of my filter sets. I'm gonna show you where it is. And so right now, these currently are all my filter sets. And if you're a member of my channel, all of this is going to be free to you. And so you don't have to remember how to implement each one of the previous techniques and transitions that I've shown you. As long as I have a filter set version of it, you can have it for free. In any case, this was a quick tutorial Thank you for watching, and once again, I'll see you next time. I just wanted to remind you that if you haven't yet, go visit my channel. I'm sure you'll find tons of shortcut related videos. And don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I drop a new shortcut related tutorial. Every video on my channel was done on shortcut. So, aside from examples of what Shotcut can do, you can also visit my playlist of tips and tutorials, all geared toward the beginner. Visit my Shotcut Tips and Tricks playlist and learn all the tips and tricks I've learned during my journey toward video editing. So once again, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.